To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? <laughs> I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg to yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Jerry Flynn Events presents the original Beat in the Heat on the Costa del Sol. Now in its 23rd year, the Costa del Dance takes place between the 1st and the 11th of April 2024 at the Hotel Amaragua Torre Molinos. Prices start from £680 sterling or €782 Euros for a 7 or 10 night stay with dinner, bed and breakfast featuring the best in country, Irish, Kaylee and set dancing. To book, phone 01254 445 050 or visit jerryflynnevents.com. everyone and welcome to the show. This week we're coming to you from the Clayton Hotel in Chiswick in London. We are here celebrating 60 years of the Galway Association. We'll be speaking to Jacqueline O'Donovan, OBE. We'll also be joined by Dennis Curran, the founder of Bar Hale Limited and the newly crowned Galway Person of the Year. And we'll be meeting an All-Ireland winner. Liam Salmon played for Galway for over 15 years and during that time he won his All-Ireland medal in 1966. And we'll be having much, much more. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. We watched the small furry birds fly. Our love was on the wings. We had dreams and songs to sing. He was so lonely round the fields of Bethlehem Pride. Well, he's so lonely round the fields of Bethlehem Pride. My pleasure to welcome you to the Galway Association's 60th Annual Dinner and Dance at the Clayton Hotel Chiswick. Brenda, you picked the right year to be chairman, of course, celebrating the 60 years. 
when I started off, I didn't realize for 60 years, we went to a meeting and I was involved the last couple of years, well, I was involved over a number of years of the Golf Association, but the last couple of years I had a bit more time and got more involved with the committee. And early in the year, Rory Dial was our chairman and he was busy at work and a little bit of pressure squeeze put on me to take it over. So I said I'd give it a go for this year anyway to see how we'd go. Now overall, I, I'd be very happy how we made a bit of progress. Um, the committee worked very well together and there would have been a lot of people involved outside the committee between sponsorship and raising funds for the different charities to work on. So overall, I'd be very happy the way that went. It's uh, difficult to get younger people on the committee. We've been working around the clock trying to um, get younger generation. Now, I suppose we are in a situation where we have five or six younger lads and ladies, and the ladies are the kingpins that we have, and they are actually spreading the best of the world to get out to younger people, and that makes a little bit of difference for us. But going forward, we will keep, go, keep pushing on to try and develop and get the youth involved. Now, we'd have great contacts through the GA that have been involved myself over the years, and there'd be different contractors of people that I would know very well, and you'd be kind of begging them to send their sons or daughters to try and join the committee or be associated with the committee. Barbara, another great night for the Galway Association. Fabulous night, Martin. 60th anniversary, so it's well supported. Great night. And of course, you've got great guests over from Ireland as well. We have a whole string now tonight, actually. And of course, a special award and presentation tonight for your Galway Person of the Year, Dennis Curran. Yes, yeah, yeah. A fantastic Galway man. Very proud to have him here now tonight. Of course, he's done a lot for the Irish here in, in London and in Britain over the years. He has, and he's still, he's still going strong. He's still going strong. He's raising money left, right and centre and all good causes. Very involved in the children's um, school meals at the moment. That's his latest project. Jigo Eve Winter in the Galve, uh, is a Cordia. Um, good evening, people of Galway and friends. Dennis, tell me a little bit about growing up in Oak the Rad, what it was like for you. It was heaven on earth, but I didn't realise it at the time. Um, but then again, at, at that time, I didn't realise it because you had nothing else to compare with. It's only when you go away and you go to London and you, you know, you have the, the opposite. Um, the, you, know, it, you have something to compare with. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it took me a lot of years in London to stop and think of um, why it was having an earth when I was growing up. Um, and it's just because, you know, there's all the chasing and work and what you go to achieve in London, you yeah. already had before you left Galway. Yeah. You know, you had a house and you had the corrib, you had the fishing, you had the hunting, you had the football, you had, you had everything. Um, and you worked so hard abroad just to reach that level again, if you like, you know. This is an uncle of mine died there about 15 years ago, and you'd be out uh, at, the, at the wake. I was walking around outside the house with a bottle of whiskey, tipping the, into the glass for them, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and as I tipped the drop into this fellow's glass and they went by and he kind of whispered, he says, it was easy for you in England, you know. And, it's, and, uh, and I turned around and I says, why, why do you mean that? Well, he says, he says, one uncle learned you how to fish uh, and the other uncle learned you how to plough. And he says, your father came from Kerry and there was a bit of football in you. Well, Jesus, have another drop of that. You know, and was, the head was getting a bit... And then he says, you were never great at any of them. <laughs> and so that, that was Galway to a T, you yeah. know, build you up and let you down and... Uh, um, you know, honesty, I suppose. I am absolutely honoured to be here to celebrate your 60th year. Congratulations to the ladies that decorated the room because it looks absolutely fabulous. Jacqueline, many congratulations on receiving the OBE earlier on this year. Thank you, Martin. It was a pleasure to receive the OBE. It was a, a massive shock, but a very nice shock. I'm sure you felt very proud going down there. You received it, I suppose you could say, on behalf of your family, but especially on behalf of your dad that sadly passed away many years ago. Yes, it was uh, a massive achievement for the family. And yeah, I did look up and think that dad would be exceptionally proud. Haven't collected yet. I've got that to do in December. So very excited about um, the thoughts of going to Windsor Castle. 
We know that you ran your dad's business from the age of 19 when your dad sadly passed away and you've developed that so much with your family down the years. Yeah, dad unfortunately passed away in 85 at the young age of 51. So um, I've got three siblings and I'm the youngest. Uh, so I've got two brothers and a sister. And I'm not quite sure why I was put in the MD role at 19, but yeah, they let me steer the ship and I've been doing it for 36 years. And we decided that life was for living and it was time now to enjoy life, as well as we had a few health issues with the older siblings. Well, Donovan Waste is still going strong. It's still a big, massive company. You've worked so hard down the years to build it up to what it is today. Yeah, no, it's been an absolute pleasure to build it up. No day has ever felt like a work day. You know, people say to me, what's your hobby? My hobby is work. I absolutely love my job. I'm passionate about it. And I, I think the biggest thing for me is the people that I work with. Uh, they just make it every day different and they make every day just fly. I was speaking to your mum earlier on, what a lady, and she's still, I've seen her out dancing there, she's in fantastic form. She is, she is, she'll be the first to tell you she's 88 in January, and uh, she's as fit as a fiddle, she keeps us all going, she's got an amazing energy, and I think I've got her genes, um, so I think that's what drives me, and I think that's what drives me to have so many plates spinning, and balls in the air at the one time but yeah she is a amazing uh, mother to us all and the energy and her ability for her age is just off the charts. This year has been a special year for you. You received the Business Leader Award as well. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, so I received that from the Business Post. So that was uh, an amazement and achievement. I really didn't realise uh, that I was going to be honoured with that award. So that really took me back um, to go up and collect that. But yeah, what an honour. Yeah, I feel very, very privileged. I'm doing a project at the moment of how Irish are you? So that people like me that haven't got the accent that all of you have got, uh, can prove that they are Irish and they are proud of their roots. And I would like to wish the Galway Association a congratulations on the 60th and enjoy your evening. I know Seamus O'Grady and the rest of the crew have been telling me the great support you've given to the Galway Association down the years and they would like to thank you for that. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. I was honoured to be invited to their 60th dinner. Um, it, yeah, it's just an honour. When I get invited to events like this, I really truly feel that it's a real honour that people actually want to see me in the room. So, yeah, uh, I haven't quite got used to that bit yet. Um, after this sort of like a pinchy moment that people want to see me. But, yeah, it's really nice. I've just had someone come up to me about the uh, How Irish Are You project and... Uh, she was born in England, but from Irish, Irish parents and are finding out about that. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm passionate about anything Irish, but yeah, absolutely delighted to be at their 60th anniversary. I just want to say thank you to Brandy and the Galway Association, all your special guests for inviting me here. I have... Uh, Four grandparents, I've, I've Monaghan, Waterford, Dublin and Galway, and that is the four crowd provinces of Ireland. It's Monaghan. a wonderful occasion to here tonight, uh, great crowds, great atmosphere, um, and yeah, to mark 60 years of all that the Galway people have done here in London and, and indeed in Britain, and, and all the work they do for the community here, for charity and for the whole community here in London, it's just great, great to be here to mark this special occasion. Ambassador, tell me a little bit about your Galway roots. So Martin, I, as I said uh, in my remarks earlier on the Galway Association, I, I, my, I've, my grandmother, one from Monaghan and one from Galway, a grandfather from Dublin and a grand, other grandfather from Monaghan. So I, I'm, I'm quarter Galway is my claim to fame. My, my grandmother was from a large family, uh, they all came from Ahaskra in County Galway. and uh, They all moved out, must be nearly a century or more ago now. A lot of them came to England, but, but the roots are in Ahaskra in County Galway. Oh, that's a lovely place to be. I know Ahaskra very well. Spent many happy days there. It is great to see the Irish ambassador Martin Fraser and his wife Deirdre in attendance and enjoying the evening. And of course the ambassador has got great Galway connections. Now we're going to take a break and we'll be back with you very soon.
To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? <laughs> I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg for yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Jerry Flynn Events presents the original Beat in the Heat on the Costa del Sol. Now in its 23rd year, the Costa del Dance takes place between the 1st and the 11th of April 2024 at the Hotel Amaragua Torre Molinos. Prices start from £680 sterling or €782 Euros for a 7 or 10 night stay with dinner, bed and breakfast featuring the best in country, Irish, Kaylee and set dancing. To book, phone 01254 445 050 or visit jerryflynnevents.com. Welcome back. This week we're coming to you from the Clayton Hotel in Chiswick in London. We are here with the Galway Association celebrating 60 years of their annual dinner dance. Now we are heading off inside to see how Theresa Rogers is entertaining the crowd. We're all watching the big match in there tonight. Just Ireland just couldn't get it over the line, but my goodness, did they try hard. They did their best. I'm wearing my Irish rugby tie instead of my maroon tie for, for the day that's in it. Um, oh, I was very disappointed. They came so close, you know, and they're the best team I'm sure we ever had. And it's just it's very, very disappointing. We couldn't quite get it over the line. But sure, look, we'll go again, Martin. We'll go again. I bump into you up and down around the country all over. You're extremely busy. How do you manage to get to all these functions and all these openings and so on? You just do my best, Martin, try and get around as much as you can. As you know, it's really important to me and everyone at the embassy to visit all the, all the Irish people all over Britain. And it's, it's great that I can get out and do that as much as I can. It's a really important part of my job and something I'm really, really proud to do. And of course, it's great to see you and, and your wife, good lady wife here tonight. And of course, she's a great leash lady. She's a good leash woman, yeah. We haven't been at the Leash Association yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. But we saw a leash play in the National Football League. 
and they won too, but anyway, we won't say that too loudly in London. But uh, <laughs> yeah, she's a leash woman, so I uh, know the two of us are having a very, a very good time here traveling around uh, Britain and meeting all, all the Irish communities all over the country. Seamus, of course, 60 years celebrating the Galway Association. A magnificent achievement to keep it going all those years. Well, it's great, it's great to be part of it. And I'm delighted to be a part of it. And I'm delighted with the input we have into it. But we have great stalwarts in the, in the Galway Association. We have Bob Burke. We have all them people that give so much and get so little. They don't want anything out of it. They just give, give, give all the time and it's absolutely out of this world it's you, you you just couldn't make it up there are a lot of recognitions and awards and successes plaques and papers and freaking out what you'd get but god you know you're getting something from your own people that hits the heart so. it was a very special night for dennis Curran tonight of course uh, you award him the galway person of the year yeah well dennis deserved it dennis has done so much for the galway association in london here He's been an outstanding star with, of that going back for years and years and years. He went back to the late Sean Burke's time and there were great, great, great people for the, for the Galway Association and uh, Dennis really deserved his night tonight. When I was made president of the Galway Association, it was the first thing I thought about. President and, and an honour and a f f function or a title is one thing, but it's nothing if you don't do something with it. Yeah. And that's why I started the, uh, uh, with Sean Brown, the, the Forgotten Irish. Yeah. And then it developed into uh, outreach, but there's also, there was already a, re a registered yeah. out, so it's called now uh, <clears throat> Reach Out. You try and enable other people to get the opportunities that I've, I've got. And one of them is the Forgotten Irish. And, and the other thing is the Mary's Meals thing. The idea is that, is that you educate people out of poverty and um, and destitution and stuff. They don't feed uh, the children unless they come to school. There's a lot of the countries that prevent the children from coming to school because they want them to work from, you know, so my Christmas present to them last year was the, um, the, uh, the shed that fed a million people. That was the original book. Now it's a million and a half and two million. Now it's really important that this time of the year, with the way the situation is with bills and money and everything, that Reach Out is supported with money and they can support it down the line. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's why we that's where we give our money to and our the money we have in the bank and whatever money we give it to Brian Boylan, who is our man on the ground, and he sorts out who gets it and who deserves it and who who gets it it is such an important part of our our makeup our sponsors and the people that give they give without you know you just ring up and you just say to them look we're having a Galway night or we're having a, a charity night or whatever and they just say look what is it going to cost us and they just pay up and there's no problem well, that is the Galway County Championship Cup, the Football Cup. That cup was uh, badly damaged, and Mark Archer, which is now the Galway GA Operations Manager, asked me if there was any chance we could get it sorted. So I will take, no, take it over, I think, the All-Ireland weekend, and I will, went down to Birmingham to Black, a goldsmith or silversmith, we like to call him, and we got it back this evening. So I just had it there in the hall tonight for this, the Football Championship Cup. So Seamus O'Grady and God will be very happy with me. <laughs> of course, you've got uh, Liam Salmon here, and of course, that was a bonus, uh, an yeah. All-Ireland winner. Yeah, Liam has three All-Ireland medals, I think. And Liam would be in, I suppose, uh, he was involved in the Galway County team, which, as I said, Mark Gotcha would actually play played under him uh, for underage level. And then Liam is obviously a good GM and a good friend of Dennis Gordon's. He also had Francie Barrett there, the, the boxer. And he had Joe Healy, which would be fish fishing, which would be involved with him. So Dennis had a high profile table with him. Actually, he had two tables on the night, so I'd say well done, Dennis, you know. Well, I, I certainly am delighted to be here. And uh, we're over really because uh, my good friend uh, Dennis Curran is getting the award of the Golden Man of the Year. Yeah. And like I, I would have anticipated that he got this 20, 30 years ago, you know. Yeah, yeah. but. Uh, he's delighted to get it, and we were delighted to come over yeah. and, and join him in that celebration, you know, so, yeah. 
Of course, Lee, you had a great uh, footballing career and you won uh, your first All-Ireland at the age of 19. That was a great yeah. achievement. Well, you know, uh, I, I was uh, very lucky to get in at the end of the three in a row. And the, the retrievers, uh, Jimmy Duggan, Coley McDonough and myself, came in that, that particular year. And, uh, like, it, it was marvellous. Now, I, I suppose, you know, when we did come in, we, we didn't appreciate the enormity of it yeah. because it, it, we were that, that bit young. And it was only sort of afterwards then when we, we played in the, in the 70s and we lost three All-Irelands, and that's when it really hurt, yeah. you know. So, and you'd think, well, God, you know, could we have done better? Could we have got more, whatever? But sure, look, at that's the way it goes. You played with, with the greats with yeah. that three-in-row team, and sadly there's only two of them uh, left us now, Matty McDonough and Andy Colwell. Exactly, yeah. And which is great, and, and, and thanks be to God, all the rest of them are in, in good health, you know. So, uh, yeah, Matty was, well, Matty was there from 56. Like yeah. He had four All-Irelands, and he was the daddy uh, of the team. And Enda was an outstanding captain. Yeah. and a marvellous character. I, I, I missed him so much uh, because he, I was a great friend of his and we did a lot of things together. 2007, of course, you went on to manage the Galway team. Yeah, yeah. and that was, that was a great experience and uh, I, I was delighted to do that. And uh, we were unfortunate that we met a great Kerry team in, in the rain in Crow Park in, in that uh, semi-final. And, uh, like, uh, I suppose uh, they just had more, more uh, of a bench uh, on that particular day. But it was a great game of football. I've been coaching uh, all my life. I started coaching uh, underage uh, at, uh, in 1971. And I'm, to this day, I'm still doing a bit of coaching. You know, so I've coached at all, all ages, at all levels. And I have to say that, that all of them, uh, you gain something from it. And it's great, uh, it's great to give something because y you get more than you actually give, yeah. you know, in, in it. And it's the enjoyment of seeing uh, players, uh, youngsters or adults playing and, and playing well and improving. We were all hoping that we might have the Sam Maguire Cup here uh, for the dinner dance for the 60th year, but it uh, just didn't happen this year, did it? No, we had a bad year hurling and football for 2022. I, I thought we had a chance of at least bringing one of them, but both teams were very disappointed the way they performed during the year. And I suppose hopefully we can only keep our fingers crossed that 24 will be a better year for us. Colin, tell me a little bit about your involvement with the Galway Association and how you first got involved. Um, I can blame that totally on Brindy. He brought me to a meeting a few years ago and he says, your next step is the Galway Association, following on from so many years in the GAA. So thank you, Brindy. Barbara has um, um, stored this ship for a long, long time before me and uh, does a great job and takes a lot of the background work and uh, doesn't get seen all the time, but it doesn't... The, the association doesn't run without her and her and her purse strings. So thank you, Barbara, for that. <laughs> and the same with Colleen. Colleen's been fantastic having Colleen on board. It's been a great, great support for me and for everyone on the association. Now, well, we try and support each other and pick up the bits that someone else is dropping. So between us, we do all right, I think. Yeah, we do. Good. Good job. Yep. A 60 years is a big milestone for any association. The Goey Association would be absolutely delighted to get to 60 years because the associations, they are hard work to keep going bringing new people in, you know, people are getting older. So we'd like to bring more youth into the association and bring it up to date. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to keep an association going for 60 years. Many congratulations to everyone involved with the Galway Association down the years. They've had a fantastic night here tonight. We hope you've enjoyed the show at home. Until next week, take good care.